Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sunny, and these are the weekend horoscopes and tarot reading for the weekend of February 24th to February 26th, 2023 for Virgo. <laughs> Virgo. Hey Virgo, what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Let's jump into it. Right into it. Here we go. So astrologically, there are a couple of things happening right now. Um, so normally I start with the moon and stuff, but like let's just jump into something that's kind of important right now. And I will start with the good news first. You, there should be a lot of energy. There's a lot of attraction and luck and expansion. And now expanding can happen negatively, okay? So watch out for that. But there's a lot of expansion happening in Aries, attraction and expansion happening in Aries right now. And for Virgos, uh, that's going to affect your joint finances. So there's a strong possibility that if you need money for something, then someone is going to give you some money to do what it is that you want to do, right? It's shared resources. There's also a possibility of pooling resources, whatever. But if you want, so it's like getting a grant or child support or alimony, you know, people, child support, people paying you money for something or someone giving you money to go to school, right? Getting or giving you money to film a movie or something, getting a grant. So it's shared resources. There's also a possibility because Venus is there and Venus is rapport. You might find yourself paying for other people as well because it's rapport. You want to be together, right? So uh, you might find yourself paying for other people. Typically, Venus in the eighth house means you're going to find yourself sleeping in someone else's house. So whatever. <laughs> so whatever. Cryptic, huh? So well, Virgo can figure it out. All right, next. It also means you're probably taking a relationship to the next level. Not necessarily, but possibly. And like this, with Venus is going to cross Jupiter here soon. It's going to be a big thing. Uh, not like the biggest thing in the world that happens every year, but it's going to be a thing. And so that's what's going on. That's what's going on. Shared resources. Now, in reality, the sun in the seventh house has people... Uh, it has people looking at whoever your partner is. So if you're partnering up with someone or if you're dating someone or married to someone, they're going to look at your spouse. Um, but if you are not, <laughs> they're going to start looking for people for you. It's kind of interesting. It's a kind of neat little thing. Anyways, whatever. Enjoy the day. Just wanted to start with some good news there. <laughs> and it, the news does look pretty good. The news, the news does look pretty good. Do you see something in here as well? Also, watch out slowly and creeping up for uh for you know there there also might be a wound or a mistake with the credit card virgo so heads up there might there might be a big mistake with credit cards or bills that weren't paid on time so just a heads up although money is coming in for you and people are going to pay there's a possibility that it got a little messed up as well all right just a heads up all right what else is going on what else is going on? It's probably going to happen next week. <laughs> Not this weekend, next week. All right, here we go. So that's the good stuff. I saw it. It just kind of jumped out at me, Virgo. So I, I wanted to tell you about that. There's also a possibility. Now, that's the good news. Okay, that's all the good news and the shared resources for there. But on the other hand, Venus and, you know, this expanding right there, the eighth house, you know, it is the house of... It's the house of <laughs> so so Virgo's probably attracting a lot of death right now, attracting a lot of it's not just that time of year, you're attracting things, right? Uh, you're always attracting, and you just happen to be attracting shared resources right now. Maybe you're finding yourself spending time in other people's houses, and there's a possibility that you might be attracting a little bit of death. <laughs> so just heads up with that. There's also a possible, you know, you might get a little bit sick, but it's a different kind of sick. Um, just watch out. Just be careful. All right, next. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I don't really think Virgos are getting sick right now, uh, but just warning you. So, I see this. <laughs> I see there's a possibility that Virgos are fighting very publicly, like very, very publicly. Like maybe um, you're fighting with police officers. You're, you're fighting with authority figures. Virgos are either they are fighting with authority figures they're putting a lot of energy into popularity. They might, Virgos might be running away from home. You see, 
there are two spots. If Mars is up there, you might it makes you run in that direction, but it also gives you problems with authority figures, right? So that's how you get the run away from home thing. Right? There's also a possibility. It's more than like, you know, Mars in the ninth house over here, run away, you know, at a distance kind of thing. There's but with the heat that Mars generates, Mars in the fourth house could also indicate running away from home because Mars is just too hot there. It's heads up. It's neat. Anyways, problems with authority figures, <laughs> you know, uh, putting a lot of energy into publicity, maybe looking for a new job, definitely a hater at the office, definitely Virgo fighting very publicly with people, definitely Virgo, be cool, man, what's wrong, <laughs> holy smokes, it's tough, you know, I get it, Virgo, like, I'm a Gemini rising, I know the Mars has been there a long time, it's been stressful, but for you, the stress is happening very publicly, so Virgo, be cool with it, all right, that's the Mars. Now, you're going to be tempted to travel or some kind of higher learning thing that's going to happen or something is going to arrive at a distance or your heart's going to be at a distance or you're going to have, you know, a bit of an exotic fetish this weekend. And uh, you're going to, it's actually, you're going to have uh, a quite an irrational longing to travel <laughs> or, or irrational desire or a longing or a desire for things at a distance or for exotic food this weekend, Virgo. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. But anyways, in the second half of the week, you're going to get weekend. You're going to get very serious about promoting your career, uh, career and publicity. You're probably going to come up with an idea. And this towards the end of the weekend, the beginning of next week, you're going to put forward that very public idea. Like if you were going to start a business, you're probably going to do it um, Sunday, Monday. All right. Next. What else do you need to know? That's about it. Watch out for arguing with your brothers and sisters. Watch out for car problems. Do you see any major car problems? I see a little bit of car problems. I really do. <laughs> so, uh, watch out for a little bit of trans car problems. Uh, watch out for, you know, authority figures, and you know, problems with the brothers and sisters. But aside of that, everything looks kind of fun. Watch your health, obviously, and um, but really, Virgo, this is the good news. So push that career, okay? Push that public career right now. Keep pushing. Go get that new job. Uh, for the next couple of weeks, you still have time to really get that new job and or to get promoted and so that's it so that's it and shared resources are very is well aspected right now uh if you if you're in a legal situation right now and you want to know if you're going to win or not yeah virgo is going to win their legal situation all right next let's get down to your tarot reading this looks look, look pretty good for virgo all right virgo <laughs> here we go virgo Two of Wands. All right. Checking everything out. Two of Wands is launching a business. Two of Wands. Whoops. Here we go. Two of Wands. You know, it's like launching a business or Two of Wands is like uh, choices. It's not choices like swords. Like you have to choose between two things. It's about deciding what enterprise you want to take part in. Right. And here we go. Financial. Anyways, the card's right side up. Right. Planning, progress, making decisions. But it means... It kind of means the world is is yours right now, Virgo. So if, whatever you do, it's all going to work out. You have choices, um, and you shouldn't really stress over it. You should just... It's not really choices. It's more like many different paths towards success. And so that's what's going on. Then we have the Three of Cups. Hey, Virgo! Woo! Three of Cups. Getting together with the peeps. Whoa. There you go. No, it doesn't mean many, many choices in friends. <laughs> anyways, no, anyways, it, it kind of does. Maybe you guys are, maybe Virgo, maybe you guys are all planning a vacation together. Uh, there's, but this looks like there's new love happening, Virgo, the two of cups, new love, right? Or a harmony in relationships. Check that out. Anyways, anyways, you're going to, anyways, put it together, you know, put it together. Get, you have harmony in love. You might take a vacation together. I, I'm hyped on this uh, Virgo vacation thing for some reason. Although, to be honest with you, Virgo takes their big vacation in about a month. In about a month or so, that's when the, uh, Virgo is going to really take like a big vacation. <laughs> okay, here we go. Next, 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 next. All right. But this looks good. Love is definitely in the air. And finally, the fool. So you are, Virgo, you are starting something new, whatever it is. Uh, the fool, maybe it's a new relationship, maybe it's a new job, but there is something that you want to do, and it looks like you're gonna you're gonna do it. <laughs> so there you go. 
right? The Fool, New Beginnings, Possibilities, Innocence. The only thing you have to watch out for the Fool card is that people might be treating you like you're a little bit foolish. So watch out for it. You definitely... Uh, naive about things but the cards right side up if it was reverse I would say watch out for being naive watch about you know you're not prepared for your journey but this looks pretty good Virgo like look at this how good is this you have a journey ahead of you you know you have options you know you have options with the two of wands you have really solid options and then you have the two of cups which means love and then you have the fool card which is go get them <laughs> new beginning which is new beginnings so Virgo Holy smokes, it looks pretty good. Watch out for fighting with authority figures. Uh, but aside of that, this looks like it's going to... Watch out for fighting with authority figures. Call, you know, keep a, a check on your health, right, of course. And absolutely, Virgo, go out and get them. This is it. This is a good reading. This is, looks like a really good... This is exciting. If you're looking for a fresh start, Virgo, the tarot card says you have it. And that's the action. From the sunny side... Oh. If you're psychic, <laughs> Virgo, if you're psychic and you want to test yourself, I have a psychic league here on the sunny side. And we tend to meet Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, some Sundays and Thursdays, uh, Tuesdays. And we guess the tarot cards here live. We guess which cards. We practice being psychic. And there's, we keep scoring everything. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to do that, it's uh, on the late night tarot show here. That's the action, guys. And if you want a reading, obviously, hit the PayPal link. From the sunnyside.net, I'm sunny wishing everyone the best of a super beautiful weekend. And I'll see you guys soon. Good luck, Virgo. I wish you the absolute best. Super beautiful day.